I shouldn't have even grabbed it because it was a little over full. It's not crazy, but I got stuff trying to fall out of here. So now I'm going to have to jump up here and reshuffle things. First time we're going to try the tarp out since I've done the zip ties. So let's see how she unwinds. Looks like it did all right. Didn't snag anything this load at least. Just left the dump. This person's booked a few dumpsters from me, and I will say that they did mention some construction debris is gonna be in the bin, so I'm saying this kind of humorously. I'm not actually upset at them or anything like that, but when they called and booked the order, they had already done two or three dumpsters from me at this house before. Essentially, they said, yeah, we're just, you know, like the final cleanup, it's gonna be a lot of cardboard boxes, a little bit of wood, that kind of thing. Even on the online booking, the item description of what was gonna be in the bin, they literally wrote some cardboard boxes. And funny enough, that was actually one of the heaviest loads I've done for them in the smallest dumpster. They've always booked 20 yards. That was the first 15 yarder. And they uh, booked it with the description of some cardboard boxes. Ended up having brick and all kinds of different construction debris. And, you know, it's like the reality of this business. You just always has to be prepared because you really never know what's gonna go in there. Yeah, even if they tell you, it's just gonna be cardboard boxes and a little bit of wood just really never know. It is pretty nice. The uh, diesel cost has gone down quite a bit. We are down to 353, or 355. Probably the lowest it's been since I started. Maybe a, maybe a little above, but I don't think it was much lower than 350 at any point since I began. Just got cursed out leaving the gas station. Had uh, pulled away from my pump. The only way for me to get out is on the other side. A truck parked behind the car on the back pump and he's literally just blocking everyone from coming and going from the front entrance of the station. And there's, even if I, like I, I had enough room if I was a small car to go around him, but there's no way I was getting around him with the truck and trailer. So I very politely, not like late on it, I just went beep with the truck. And a second or two later, he backs up, opens his door, starts MFing and this, that, and the other, just yelling at me, yelling at me. I'll sit here all I want to, you can, and wait and blah blah blah. I just killed him with kindness. I made sure to tell him I hope he had a great day and it's too early in the morning to be this charged up. And then I offered to hug him on the way out and that kind of set him up to the next level. It's amazing how many people are just the center of the universe in their own mind. All right, I uh, need some strong labor. Is there anyone available? You in the back. You good with your hands? All right. So my pirate ship friends from last week booked another dumpster with me. Let's uh, see what they loaded up. Not too bad at all. They uh, literally just dropped it in here on their way out. So I'm about to pick it up from my spot right now, take her to the dump, get it cleaned out. Just go straight up. All right. up again so that's good funny I think it's two loads in a row now that'll be probably under 300 pounds this is a uh, super light they actually let me get away with no dumb fee on that one I gave them my ID and I joked that if they weighed me in the truck on the way out and out of the truck on the way in, they might end up paying me because it was so light. And I explained what it was, just a, few, a couple of few food bags. And he uh, handed me my ID back and said, Merry Christmas, <laughs> and just sent me on my way.
thankfully everyone on this one was really nice, but get used to people being a little upset at you for blocking traffic, because chances are you're going to be doing that a little bit. It's kind of the nature of the beast. Oh. I try to always uh, open up the doors for them. Not really like people can't figure it out, obviously, but it's just nice to get to your uh, project and everything's ready to just load up. Now I've done it. Uh, can anyone tell me what's wrong with this picture? That. That is the answer. Yeah, I would like to get into the metal tabs eventually. As of right now, I'm gonna stick with the straps just to uh, keep my life simple. But it is uh, something to think about because I have lost one strap already just from letting them dangle. When I first got the trailer, I wasn't as aware of what needed to be done uh, with them. So basically, when I wasn't hooked to a cam, uh, I was just letting them sit down there and swing. I did lose one and dragged another. I had a guy next to me kind of wave me down and let me know one of them was dragging. Got two new ones, put the two new ones on there, and now I am ultimately just, oh, getting a call. Just got a call the, uh, I don't know if I talked about where it was, but the one I dropped in Dunedin is gonna be full today, and he wants it swapped out for another one tomorrow. So I may do that late this afternoon. I might just grab it in the morning. Go ahead and get that extra booking in there. I am trying something new with these contractor dumpsters, which hopefully works out pretty well. Uh, I'm doing no tonnage included and billing for it after the fact. Assuming we live in a pretty honest world, it won't be an issue, but we'll see after I've done more than a handful of them and just get the vibe for how people are about me billing in the end. Hey Jackson, is that a job well done? Thank you. I appreciate having your approval. It means a lot to me. 